my channel. Today's video is going to be different than I thought it was when I was filming it. So I'm going to add this intro in before this footage because basically the plan was I was going to film my weekly reading vlog. I was like just going to take you along for a week of me <laughs> reading and then I read one book. <laughs> in that week and the book I read I really wanted to vlog me reading that was kind of the reason I was filming a weekly reading vlog I didn't really have a theme I was like I guess I'll just do like a weekly reading vlog because I want to vlog me reading this book and then I just didn't read anything else and so I just had the footage of me reading this book I mean obviously you've seen the title and the thumbnail and so I asked on my bookstagram I was like would y'all still want to see a reading vlog of this book even though it's gonna be like shorter probably 10 to 15 minutes whatever it may be and y'all said yes so I'm gonna post this video including this intro here of me reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts I haven't done a reading vlog of just one book in a long time so I thought since y'all wanted it I will just do that and I'm also going to add like probably a spoiler section at the end just to make it a little longer a little more chatty so if you read the book we can talk about it this book isn't out in the US yet so I ordered mine from Blackwell's UK because it is out in the UK and it did take a couple weeks to get in but by the time you're watching this video the US version will come out very soon it comes out November 7th so if you want to buy it just for the US edition you can but also the US edition is hardcover the UK edition is paperback so if you you're wanting a paperback edition I love this one I was expecting it to be a larger paperback because that's usually how UK Australia does it instead of hardcovers they do taller paperbacks but this one is like a normal size paperback and I really like it I just it is very stiff <laughs> so you know if you like breaking spines this might be a good one to do I do not like breaking spines I will never do that so it's kind of hard to read because it is more stiff but I do like the paperback over a hardcover. I think the like cover is just really pretty. So yeah, I did order it off Blackwell's. I think you can order it off any, you know, UK website. But it did have free shipping. It came in a couple weeks. It did come damaged, which is a little disappointing. It's not too bad. My husband fixed it a little bit, but they are sending me a new one. I was going to like get rid of this or send it to somebody or send it to a friend or something, but since I read this one, I'm like sentimental about it, so I'm gonna keep it. But anyways, yeah, so that's where I ordered it. It does come out in the US very soon. And here is the footage of me reading this book. Very short, but I still wanted to post it. So I hope you enjoy. Hi, hello. I am starting a new reading vlog and I am very, very excited for this one. I'm gonna read Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I am so, so excited. I waited two weeks for this book to come in and it's finally here and I'm so excited. It did come damaged if you saw my recent vlog, but I contacted Blackwells and they're sending me a new one. I thought I was just gonna keep it because it wasn't too bad, but they said I could just donate or do whatever. And they would send me a new one, so that was very kind. But I'm so excited to read this book. It's a fantasy romance. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I just can't wait. <laughs> so I read like one chapter yesterday, but we're really, we're gonna get to reading today, and I am so excited. I literally just have such high expectations about this book because everyone loves it. So let's not start it. Let's continue this book on chapter two and see what I think. I am so excited. <laughs> is currently Wednesday and I read a good bit of Powerless yesterday. I'm on page 115. Well, I read like a, a couple chapters today, but I am loving it so much. I feel like everything I've heard people say, it's like very much the experience I'm having so far. Like it's definitely reminiscent of the Hunger Games, which I'm really enjoying. It feels like nostalgic almost for the Hunger Games, but it's still different in its own way. And the banter is so good. And I'm only 100 pages in and they've had a good amount of interactions, which I really love. So I feel like some fantasy, it takes so long to build up that it's like a few hundred pages in before you get an interaction. So I love that. Also, the only thing I said what this is about, if you don't know, it's basically about this girl named Peyton and she is an ordinary. And in this like society, there's the elites and there's the ordinaries and the elites have powers. The ordinaries do not. And the ordinaries are basically banished from society, but Peyton is pretending to be an elite. And then the other POV is Kai and he is the prince of the king and it's just going from there so it is really really good so far like very easy to understand and just very entertaining so i cannot wait to continue reading today but i just want to give an update that i am loving it so much i feel like i'm like smiling the whole time just just having a great time hello guys it is the next day it's now thursday it's now thursday and I read a lot of Powerless yesterday. I'm on page 297 and I'm loving this book so much. I had to force myself to stop reading at like 1 a.m. But it is currently like 10.30. I'm gonna sit down and read or I'm in bed and I'm gonna read. And I plan to read 
for a long time. Probably won't finish it, but I'm gonna get a good chunk red. I'm loving it so much. It is so good. Like literally the banter, the tension, the like enemies to lovers, the competition part of it is so good. It's definitely making me nostalgic for the Hunger Games, which I love so much. It's like an adult Hunger Games. Well, it's not, but there are certain scenes that I was like, this reminds me of the Hunger Games and I love it so much. I'm so excited to see what happens. And I'm also terrified because if something bad happens to any of these characters, I'm not going to be okay. Like I'm just not. So, and that tells me I really like a book because I feel like when I was reading Fourth Wing specifically, I didn't really care. But this, I'm like, they all have to live. Okay, I'm going to read some more of this. I'm loving it so much. Like you have to read this when it comes out November 7th in the US. You need to read it. I'm like not even done, but I'm loving it so, so much. It's so good. But anyways, I'm just loving it so much. <laughs> I have more to say than that. It's just making me giddy, giggling, kicking my feet all the things. This is the first time I'm reading today, so very excited. I didn't want to start reading <laughs> earlier because I was watching Bachelor in Paradise and I didn't want to get sucked into the book and not want to put it down because I wanted to watch Bachelor in Paradise. So I'm now reading it at 10.30 at night, so. <laughs> So it is time to film a little outro for this book, my thoughts, feelings, all of that stuff because this video ended up being just a writing vlog for Powerless. I wanted to give my review, my thoughts. Also might share some of my favorite quotes, a spoiler review at the end because the quotes in this book, that's one thing I loved so much was the banter. And this male main character, Kai, are you kidding? The things he would say and the things that he would think, I'm like, literally so good like for this to be a debut novel and she was like 17 i think when she wrote it insane like absolutely insane that she wrote this it was so good i rated it five stars i loved it so much and i almost think i feel like i'm on the edge of a slump so i feel like this book was just so good that i'm like how can i read anything else it literally felt like a movie like i think about it i'm like wait that wasn't a movie that was a book that i read i feel like i wasn't bored like one moment throughout this entire book like literally it was so interesting the competition aspect was so fun to read and i feel like i was always on the edge of my seat i loved all the characters like i felt so connected to them and by the end i was like literally like so anxious for what was gonna happen and I did read at the end of this book there is a like little chapter for the second book and I did read it <laughs> and I need second book immediately it comes out in May at least in the UK it might come out later in the US but I will obviously be ordering the UK version of the next book so they all match might even order the US edition of both I don't know but it is going to be a trilogy so the second one comes out in May I don't know when the third one comes out but it was so so good. I think if you're a beginner in fantasy, this book is perfect for you. Like you are going to really enjoy it. Like I feel like you'll be able to understand it. And the romance is very much a big 
plot in the book but also for like the fantasy aspect competition aspect things like that are very interesting and so even when it wasn't romance i still like really enjoyed everything about it but i also do read books with more of a fantasy plot than a romance plot but this one definitely had the enemy to lovers romance plot which was so good i'm going to maybe read a few of my favorite quotes for you that don't really give anything away because i need to encourage you to read this book so i took pictures of all of them because at the time i thought i was going to like give this to a friend or something so i didn't want to write in it so i took pictures of all the quotes but i might end up annotating this one i don't really know if i'm to be her enemy i want it to be because she loves herself for wanting me oh man this one i feel like i have seen a lot and it it doesn't give anything away from the plot but if you don't want to hear a more like extended quote then just like skip a little bit but she says what is your favorite color i never thought about what my favorite color was before it never seemed important not until I looked into a pair of ocean blue eyes and realized that perhaps drowning was a beautiful thing. Not until I looked into a pair of fiery blue eyes and realized that perhaps burning was a painless thing. Not until I looked into a pair of sky blue eyes and realized that perhaps falling was a peaceful thing. I never thought about what my favorite color was before because I hadn't seen one that was worthy of the title. Until now, that is. Blue, I say, my voice low. Hmm, she was looking at me thoughtfully, studying me sincerely. I would have never guessed. Neither would I. You are kidding. You are kidding me right now. <laughs> you are kidding me. I can't. I can't with that. Holy crap. My dog is currently <laughs> eating, but I'm going to keep reading. He's devastating. Everything about him is stunning and sharp and stealing my breath away. But it's the way he's looking at me that suddenly makes swallowing seem like a struggle. Breathing seem like a chore. I've never been looked at like it's a privilege to be in my presence and honor to hold my gaze. A gift to get a glimpse of me. Not until I met him. I cannot handle that. I can't. She is the embodiment of a bad decision. The twin of danger and desire. The fine line between deadly and divine. And I can feel myself drowning. Oh... Oh my gosh that's funny because i won't hesitate to mess up your pretty face i smirk i knew you thought i was pretty okay i think i'm gonna stop for now but those are some quotes from this book to encourage you to read it it was so good but also like just the plot of the book was so incredible i cannot wait to read the next one literally it's gonna be like a new favorite fantasy series i can already tell so loved it so much if you haven't read this book i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy this book when it comes out in the u.s november 7th and if you want to order it from blackwells it's out in the uk if you live in the uk it's out you can just go buy it which is so fun <laughs> like it's kind of cool that we have different like sometimes have different publishing days anyways this isn't important all right now it is time for the spoiler section of this video so if you do not want spoilers exit out now i will see you in my next video spoiler section now i'm about to spoil things from this book so if you don't want spoilers i'll see you next time okay hi guys it's just me and you here the people that have read this book and i had some things i wanted to say about it that obviously are spoilers so first the scenes from the first trial with kai and Peyton like working together that reminded me so much of katniss and Peeta and the hunger games like the first hunger games when they like combine forces obviously and like ally with each other and like help each other like katniss goes and gets the medicine for him to like help him because his leg is like cut or something that reminded me of that so much and i love that it was almost like the hunger games because they were kind of like helping each other and like they were kind of stuck in this environment for a period of time but i also enjoyed that that was like one of the trials and then it kind of continued throughout the book with different trials you know i did like i really liked kit but I didn't like that he likes Peyton. I'm like, no, Peyton and Kai are meant to be together. Like, I don't want Kit in here. Okay, not <laughs> my dog. But I did like Kit and I liked seeing him, but him and Peyton, I liked their friendship, but I was also like, I don't want him to be crushing on her because she's meant to be with Kai. You know what I mean? But I am curious to see what happens next now that he is the king. Also, I know that she like killed their dad and I get why Kit will be upset about that, but Kai like, never had a good relationship with his dad so i was like i didn't understand why he was so mad about it to be honest because i was like he just like really did terrible things to him so i'm like you know i also think that in the second book once he finds out that he killed her dad which i literally that part was so brutal to read like literally brutal and so i feel like when he finds that out that like he killed her dad and she killed his dad it's kind of like a we're on the same level of like we're on the same playing field of betrayal at this point which i'm excited for because i feel like the second book the banter is gonna be so good i'm hoping that they will like finally fully kiss and have a moment and they will like combine forces i feel like kit and kai both they are kind of understanding that what the kingdom is doing is just not working i feel like they're gonna understand that the elites aren't like getting sick because of the ordinaries because ordinaries have been living around them forever or for years and they didn't know and so i feel like kit and kai 
and Peyton are going to hopefully form like an alliance and help the people and it's going to kind of obviously end all glorious and happy I hope if any of these characters die oh speaking of that her best friend what is her name literally I really liked her I don't know why I forgot her name I want to say Adina Adina yeah her name's Adina when she died literally so brutal like I get it's a fantasy book somebody has to die but I'm like you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Like, I was so sad. And I feel like it's always the friend. Like, one of the friends that you really come to like dies. And I'm like, you're kidding. But if any of these other characters die, I'm going to throw hands because I love them so much. Like, Kai and Peyton have to end up together and neither of them can die. Anyways, that's my spoiler thoughts of this book. I loved it so much. Like, it was so good. And now I really want to read Red Queen by, I don't know her name, because the author said that this book is inspired by The Hunger Games and Red Queen. And so I really want to read Red Queen and see like the similarities. But anyways, that's my spoiler thoughts. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I didn't think I'm gonna shut up about this book. You should go read it. <laughs> the mail is here. So Rosie is barking, but I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.